Hello and welcome to Taxi Tutorials. Uh, so far in this wonderful series on object-oriented programming in JavaScript, we learned about constructors and how to use constructor to build objects. But there are two kinds of people, one who use constructors to build objects and one who just directly use object literals. Prior to uh, ES2015, if you want to use object literals and you want to extend them, you have to copy one object's methods to another object. Uh, you have to write your own, basically, little niche method to do it. But uh, ES 2015 introduced a couple of good methods, so you don't have to do this work. One of the method is called object.setprototypeOf, and the second method is object.assign. So today we are going to look at the method called object.setprototypeOf. But let's say if you want to go back and learn about the constructor, uh, you can do so by clicking on a link here. I'll provide it. Also, another news is uh, you probably know that I have a website called taxi.com. And so far, I haven't done much with it. But I know a lot of you keep asking me, where is the coding sample? Where is the article on this uh, video? So I started putting articles um, of the videos that I'm producing. Uh, especially this particular series. So I have the, um, all the articles for each tutorial. So you can check it out if you go to taxi.com. And I also provide a link here so you can go and tell me how you feel about it. This is my first uh, effort at writing, so don't judge me too much. All right, so we already looked at these master constructor object called Object with capital O. And if I look at it, it has a bunch of methods. So if I do console.dir object, you should see a bunch of methods associated with it. So if I run it, I would see this master constructor. And at the bottom here somewhere, I have this method called set prototype off. So this is the method we are going to look at it. I would highly recommend it going through this and understanding all the different methods as well. So what this method does is it takes one object's method and make it available to another object. Again, we're not talking about the constructor or anything else. These are simple, these are actually object literal. The only way to do it is basically setting, taking um, one object's prototype and directly setting to another object. So the way you would do it is you would say object dot set prototype off. And the first argument we provide is the destination object. And the second argument is going to be source object. So basically we're going to have some methods in source object, which will be available to the destination object in nutshell. So let's create our first source object. As you know, I like cars. Um, so I'm going to create a Toyota. And it's a literal. And inside, I have a method called drive. And it says, um, it just basically returns driving Toyota. All right. Now, Camry is actually one of the Toyotas. So let's have Camry. So the inheritance happens differently because now we are inheriting object to object, not from the parent constructor to subconstructor or anything else. And let's have Camry's own method called Wi-Fi because new Camrys come with Wi-Fi, which is not available in all Toyotas, let's say. And it would just return um, using Wi-Fi. All right, so now let's set a Camry's prototype to Toyota's prototype. So you would do it. Um, object dot 
set prototype off Camry to Toyota. Simple. All right. But before that, let's look at how Camry looks like before I said this. So if I comment it out and just look at the console.dir Camry. So we can compare before and after. So if I run this, I would see Wi-Fi method, and which is inside the Camry. And it has its creator, which is nothing but the object. So we can see how it looks like before. Now let's activate this line. So this would basically set, make the Toydas method available in Camry. So if I look at it now, console log after. So now, again, Wi-Fi is still there. But if I look at its creator, it would add another layer and it would put this drive method inside, which is nothing but a reference to Toyota's drive method. So it's not part of a Camry itself, it just referencing. If I say Camry dot drive and run it, it would say driving Toyota. And again, I can do, if I say Camry dot Wi-Fi, which is obviously should work because it's own method. So I have two things, driving Toyota and using Wi-Fi. Now, what if I have the same method that Toyota has in Camry? So instead of Wi-Fi, let's have a method called drive. And this would just simply say driving Camry. So what would happen here? Because it now Camry has its own drive method, it's just going to use its own method before looking in this prototype. So if I run it, I would get dri driving Camry. However, um, let's say if I want to use Toyota's uh, drive method also in Camry's method, I can do it. Uh, there is a, a new super. Remember how when you have a base class and a subclass, you can call base class math, uh, constructor using super. You can do the same thing here. So it's really cool. So I'm, I'm going to use... Um, uh, template string and the way I would do it is um, I would call super dot drive basically call my prototypes drive method and since it's a template string I have to use dollar sign and then here I would say Camry so now if I run this I would get driving Toyota Camry and I know there are some people who would who won't use set prototype instead a lot of people directly setting prototype using this syntax so they say Camry dot underscore underscore proto underscore underscore equal to uh, Toyota instead of using set prototype off it works however I would not recommend you using this because it might go away so I would if you're using a production code don't use this only use set prototype off so that's all folks uh, eh, for this series the next tutorial will be object.assign I'll provide a link here, either this way or this way. I don't know which way it's going to show up, but uh, I'll provide a link here. And I hope you like this tutorial. And if you did, please like the video, subscribe the channel, and provide a constructive, constructive comment. Thank you.